this is an unboxing video for Lee and Mark II controllers. These are square wave controllers. I chose these because I need a three speed switch. That's very important to make some effort to be street legal. What this box contains is two Mark II controllers and two direct plug in cycle analyst version threes. from Grin Technologies. I love my cycle analysts. I limit the current in my cycle analysts so things don't get out of control. Here's the two Mark II controllers. These are exactly the same. These have 24 4110 FETs, which is nice for 72 volts. 72 volts is enough for me. If you ever want to go with much more than 100 volts, you need to use 4115 FETs. I don't ever travel more than 39 miles an hour, so 72 volts is nice on my 31.5 inch diameter tires. These <clears throat> have a, the shunt, the resistance to the shunt is 0.667 milliohms on these two that I just received today. Same shunt value. I bought this a couple weeks ago. The shunt value is 1.000 milliohms. Other than that, this is the same controller. Edward Lien is highly recommended. His website is lien.com, L-Y-E-N.com. He sells cycle analysts, half speed, uh, half twist throttles, and uh, uses multifunction switches, which I wish I would have brought down for the video. And he uh, puts all the connectors on. Here's a connector for the phase wires. Here's the connector for the hall sensors. He's marked all these connectors for you, so you just have to plug and play. Throttle, 3-pin, 2.8-millimeter Molex. There's the e-brake. I don't use that. I use hydraulic brakes and regen. This is the uh, another Molex connector for the 3-speed switch, which is uh, <clears throat> he has programmed from the factory to 30, 100, and 120%. Here's a connector for the USB programming cable, which you have to buy separately. It costs about $15. If you want to change the programming, change the phase current, the battery current, <clears throat> change the percentage in the three-speed switch. I <clears throat> had him crank this regen up all the way. I just wanted a bike ride this morning, and I got 1.8% regen. I got back a sixth of an amp hour on a 12-mile ride. Continuing with the connectors, this is going to be the cycle analyst connector. And then <clears throat> this is the power cable here. SB50 Anderson power pole connector to go to my 72 volt battery. Edward Leon, a lot of times when you buy a, a controller from him, he'll put a little video on YouTube that shows the serial number, then he shows it running. Um, I bought so many controllers from him. I think he just doesn't bother to do that with me, but it's got the serial number for if there's any warranty considerations, but with Edward Lee and uh, warranty doesn't even come into play because if there's any problem, you just contact him for, by email and uh, sometimes send him the controller and he'll fix it right up for you. Uh, 24 FETs is nice for handling current. I like 24 FETs and 4110 FETs are better at handling heat than 4115 FETs, which is one of the reasons why I chose to run 72 volts instead of higher. And uh, that's about all I have to say about the controllers. Uh, square wave controllers, a lot of people choose sine wave controllers, Sabaton. I totally understand that. Uh, but like I say, I need the three-speed switch. I've used his controllers extensively, and I just find there's just it's a lot of power, a lot of current and uh, very reliable controllers. The only time I blew on once is uh, uh, on a very wet, completely soaked controller. I plugged in the battery for some reason, not appreciating how wet things were, and so I fried a bank of MOSFETs and uh, possibly a circuit board. So keep the bike dry. So that's it. I can't wait to hook them up to my bike.